Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video I will be bringing you another Forzathon guide. Now of course this is where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete all of this week's Forzathon challenges. So this week's one is called Track Toy and it wants you to use a 2016 Lotus 311 to complete all of its challenges. Now the Lotus 311 can be picked up from the auto show for 150,000 credits or if you have a look in the auction house I'm sure you'll find one a lot cheaper than that. I have also created a tune for you guys to use, it's X class and it's pushing over 1200 brake horsepower and the share code is on your screen now so hopefully that should help you guys out with a couple of the challenges that will be coming up. Now we're going to move into the first challenge here, which just wants you to earn a total of 9 stars from speed zones, which is actually a really easy challenge to start off with. So to do this I recommend heading over to the forest green speed zone. Now if you watch my content I'm sure you'll know that I use this one a lot. The reason for that is because 3 stars on here is only 90 mile an hour. So maintaining a speed of 90 in the Lotus 311 is very very easy to do, regardless of if it's stock or if it's tuned, it's not a difficult challenge at all. And of course that means 3 stars, you only need to do 3 runs of this to get a total of 9 stars and complete the first challenge, which will take no more than 3 to 4 minutes. So like I said, it's a really easy challenge to do, and it doesn't matter if your car is tuned or not, because I'm pretty sure that stock, the Lotus 311, will happily sit around this speed zone at over 90 mile an hour without too much difficulty, but a tune always helps you get along a bit quicker. So there you go, that's the first challenge, nice and easy. Now the next one wants you to earn 15 ultimate near miss skills. So this again is another easy challenge and I'd recommend using the highway for this and driving on the wrong side of the road and I'll tell you why in a second. First of all though I'd recommend hopping into Horizon Solo. The reason for this is because there is many many more AI cars on the road in Solo than there are online. I'm not sure why that is but that's always been the case and of course on the motorway there is a much denser population of AI cars anyway regardless of if you're online or in Solo. Now an ultimate near miss skill is obviously a near miss skill but when you're sort of hitting over 170, 180 mile an hour to get the near miss skill which is why I said drive on the opposite side of the road because the combined speed of your car and the AI car makes it a higher speed and obviously more chance of an ultimate near miss skill than just a normal one. Now the final challenge here wants you to earn a slingshot skill which is really easy and a slingshot skill is basically a draft skill followed by a pass skill. Like I said it's a very easy challenge to do and you only need one of them which is good. So what I'd recommend doing is finding a normal race that's got a couple of bends on it. Now you're most likely to get this challenge completed as soon as you set off so within the first 20 seconds of the race. I just went to the Moorhead wind farm circuit and selected the standard three lap race. Now the reason for this is if I did get anything in the first lap obviously I've got two more laps left to complete it but as you can see here as soon as you set off there you go I've already got two slingshot skills uh, in less than 20 seconds there it's really really easy to do and the best thing is you can do it on whatever difficulty you want so if you're an expert and you're struggling a bit just lower the difficulty it doesn't matter too much it just means that the AI will be a bit easier to overtake and of course because it's a Forzathon event it doesn't matter what difficulty level you're on it won't change the fact that you'll complete the challenge it's not a festival playlist event now the other thing is you don't actually have to overtake the car that you're drafting so as you can see here at the start of the race I'm drafting behind that BAC mono but I actually ended up overtaking the Corvette to the right of me and the Caterham as well and got the slingshot skill there so it's actually kind of pretty cool that way which is why I said you're more likely to get it at the beginning of the race than anywhere else but the other places to get it will be on corners as well so if you're drafting behind a car and they slow down just move to the side of them and quickly overtake them as long as you get that slingshot skill it won't matter if you smash into the wall at the end of there but like I said it's really really easy I filmed a total of two races and I think I pulled together about six or so slingshot skills so it's actually a pretty easy challenge to complete and like I said it'll only take one to complete the challenge. Now I hope that this video helped you guys out, uh, of course I will be posting a guide to the photo challenge which is going to be week 2's photo challenge so that will come a couple of hours after this Forza Thumb guide is released as I know a lot of you guys found the first one quite helpful and I want to say a massive thank you for everyone who subscribed and let me know how they thought about it on that video but apart from that i would like to say a massive thank you again for everyone's support i hope this video did help you out and if you're new to the channel i would very much appreciate if you could subscribe for more content just like this and of course dropping a like helps me out as well but apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best take care and stay safe